morning everybody and welcome to vegan friday and also i'm going to do gluten free recipe as well so today we're going to make debbie hargreaves sister you asked for it you've got it i've done a vegan country cake using parsnips and i've also got pecans and cranberries and dates in it and it is delicious uh, as you can tell there's a a little slice missing where the two top tasters, me and Carol, we had to try it to make yeah. sure it was fine. <laughs> well, you do have to taste things before you can unleash them on the world. Absolutely. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't want you to be thinking, oh, it doesn't taste that. It tastes absolutely beautiful. So thank you to Debbie's sister for suggesting it. Uh, I did go on the internet, I did on Mr. Google, and I've searched everywhere and I've adapted the recipe so we can use our own gorgeous caramelised orange natural flavoured icing oh. sugar. We'll just show you people what we're going to make today. Yep, so I have here, as you can tell, there's the slice missing. And then we've got a beautiful gluten-free cupcakes. But only because I saw on, on, I saw on the community page that somebody had said they were having trouble uh, with making gluten-free cupcakes uh, with Duff Farm. Well, I've made them using the Duff Farm self-raising flour and they turned out beautiful, they're lovely and spongy and light and I've just done a lovely raspberry ripple um, buttercream on the top so that's it a bit now can I just point out while we're all, while we're all getting, all, while all everyone's joining us I'm doing vegan Friday and gluten free now you can't, I'm doing this for demonstration purposes if you were doing it at home you can't do them all in the kitchen at the same time because if you're doing a gluten-free cake for somebody who has specifically said they're gluten-free, you must have your kitchen completely clean, no open bags of flour, uh, you, you, everything has to be sealed in a cupboard and a lot of people do actually use uh, their different utensils. They have a cupboard of utensils and baking equipment, especially just for gluten-free. So please, don't do as I'm doing and think, oh, I'll whip up a vegan cake, I'll whip up some gluten-free cupcakes, if you are going to be giving them out. You, you need to make sure that your kitchen is completely wiped down and you have no uh, flour in there that has a gluten in, that everything's been put away, sealed away, and then you can start with absolutely your gluten-free utensils that you do use. So I just wanted to let you know that just because I'm doing it, you can't. We're also, it's going to be great... Carol's just brought me in some new sprinkles from Happy Sprinkles, and these are vegan. So we are going to be sprinkling these on our cakes later. I mean, look how nice these are. don't know if Simon can get into that. I'm holding them very carefully for him. Oops, sorry Simon. I'm deciding just, it's like golden shot there. So we've got some gorgeous, like the blue pinks, that look like the, the flamingos. Um... That's the flamingo one. And I've got some gorgeous the stars in there with gold balls and white strands. And then we've got this gorgeous baby pink. So these are all vegan. They're on the website. And I'm going to be, Carol said to me, I could open these and I can use these on my cakes in a bit. So let's get cracking. So hi, everyone. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Serena. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Helen. Hi, Maureen. Hey, everyone. How are you all doing? Um, yep. Yeah. Jackie likes the sprinkles as well. She says very pretty sprinkles. Um, so yeah, hi everyone. And yeah, let me just introduce. Them. I've got Tony in the kitchen, <laughs> and we've got my little faithful Simon on the camera. We've got the camera king, haven't we, Simon? <laughs> Thank you to Lindsay McIver for sending us our cup each. We absolutely love them. Simon's is uh, Simon. They want. Can I just show them your cup? Well, I'm drinking out of it. I know, but can I just say have it anyway? <laughs> well, what about I'm I just want to show them the I just want to show them the picture. I'll show them, it's alright. Yeah, yeah, let's show them the picture. <laughs> Here we go. I don't know if you can see <laughs> A gorgeous picture. I'm going to put a full photo on the website later. And it's a lovely picture of Simon. It's got Cambry King on the back. And then, <laughs> my, and then Carol did post a picture of man in her cups yesterday. And we absolutely love them. I mean, I mean look at that face. Who, could have, who couldn't love that face? <laughs> <laughs> so we absolutely love it. We all know now, we know no in the kitchen whose cup's whose. It's great, we've all got our own designated cup now and I absolutely love it. Thank you. Thank, thank <laughs> Lindsay. You. Thank you, Lindsay. Yes. They're nice. loving the cup. 
<laughs> so first of all, what I'm going to do today, uh, I think our audience will have built up now, we're going to get on with doing the um, the vegan country cake. Now I've called it a country cake because it just reminds me of like cakes that my gran used to bring, like the farmhouse country cakes that was all like fruit and, uh, uh, and, and nuts inside it. And this one has got cranberries, nuts and dates in it. It's got cinnamon and I've also used our caramelised orange natural flavoured icing sugar in place of caster sugar just to give it that because I thought and, and we've used parsnips just to say it's that thing that goes with parsnips, oranges and cranberries and it just tastes beautiful. So we're going to get on with that cake first because it's going to take at least 40 to 45 minutes in the oven. I'm going to show you why. I'm just going to cut another piece now. We cut a piece yesterday, and I did this cake to the recipe that I'd Googled, and um, I did it to, the, to their baking times. Now, I've added cranberries, whereas they didn't have cranberries in it, and I've used our icing sugar, but it sunk a little bit. Now, I did the cake test, did the cake test, and I did it in about four or five places, and the cake, test, the, the cake tester pick came out perfectly clean. But while it was cooling, it sank not a lot, but enough to see that it had sunk a little bit. So me and Carol, we cut into it, and it's very moist in the centre. It's not soggy, it's moist. I'm going to cut a piece now so you can see it. Halima is loving your t-shirt, Karen. <laughs> watch me whip, watch me bake, bake. So I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that okay? If I leave that there, Simon can... If you can, put it Ooh, down. If I can put it down. Is it easy if I put it down? If I, if on the side like that. Is that easier? You can just see it's a little bit moist there. Now, it's not a lot moist. It's not soggy by no means, but it's, it's moister than, than what I would usually have. But it's, it's beautiful. Um, but what I'm going to do today is I'm going to actually use the tin. It's the, but I'm actually going to use the, 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 the baking core. It's the Queen of Hearts flour nail that can be used as a baking core. And I'm going to put that in the centre of the tin to help cook just that little bit of the centre. So it should be done in 45 minutes. And then you can see that because that'll be baking while I'm doing the vegan cupcake, uh, while I'm doing the gluten free cupcakes for you. Are they in stock now? Yes, they're in stock. They're all in stock. And the ones that are in stock now, they come with a bit longer nail on the bottom. So you'll actually, it's easier to hold because this, this nail is the original one. And the longer, they come with a longer nail now. It's great. So they're all in stock. And I think they're six ninety nine. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Nikki. Carrot cake can be moist as well. So, yeah. you know, so it depends on your preference, isn't it? But I mean, it's... There's no way it doesn't. It doesn't look soggy. It's no. not soggy, no. not by not by a long shot. Definitely um, not a soggy cake. You but don't it, want a soggy bottom. It's absolutely beautiful. I'll put this out of the way. Of oh, Simon. <laughs> 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 the first things you have to do. I'm going to put the knife over there. The first thing you have to do. You have to cook your parsnips in apple juice. Now it's 300 grams of parsnips, and I've cooked them in 200 mils of apple juice. Now they do take quite a while to cook. So here's some I prepared earlier, because there's no way I was going to inflict half an hour of you waiting for my parsnips to cook. <laughs> <laughs> so I've um, I've just chopped them into into chunks. I put them into a saucepan and cook them with the apple juice, and they go a lovely golden colour. Now what you do now is you can mash them when they've gone cooler. But I found yesterday it was great using a blender. Now you can use a blender or what, that, the magic bullet one to use that just to get it into a puree because I, I don't want it's it's going it's in replacement of the egg as well. So I don't want to have any lumps in there. I want it to be a nice smooth puree. I'm just going to put them into here. I'm just going to do. It doesn't take long. It will be a bit noisy and I'll be doing a bit of shaking. That's my workout. Claire asks, could you use carrots? Well, yeah, you could. I mean, I just did the passes because somebody, somebody had asked me to. But there's no reason you can't use carrots. And it would be like more like a, a carrot cake. But you'd still have your dates and your cranberries in. Absolutely. But you cannot taste the parsnips. You really can't taste them. All you can taste is delicious fruit and orange in there. It's wonderful. Simon and I will be trying later. <laughs> it's, it's like you're, you're saying you don't like parsnips. Well, it, I, well, did you see my face when Debbie's sister asked for a parsnip cake? I went, eh, what? 
<laughs> parsnips. They're on my Sunday dinner with me turkey. I was going to say, but it's a good way to use, you know, when you bulk buy at Christmas and things. Absolutely. Always having extra parsnips. You just go, you know what, let's make a cake. Yeah, and it, I, I, I mean, I will be making this cake again and again because I, I just found it so delicious. Just going to scrape them into there. yesterday so they can start intensive uh, physio get them legs working then we can get you home can't we mum not seen you in weeks because you can't visit can't visit the hospital and you can't visit the rehabilitation center either so as you can see that's a lovely mush <laughs> what? a lovely mush lovely mush <laughs> So that's how you want it to be. It doesn't matter if there's a little bit of a lump in there because it will cook down, but I've got the majority of all the lumps. It's a lovely smooth paste now. There we go. Don't want to waste any. Put that to one side. Now into this mixture, I'm going to put two tablespoons of maple syrup. Nasheen says you need a t-shirt that says absolutely because you always say it. So next mugs, next t-shirts, that's what we'll do. Absolutely. I, I know, but I, I, I noticed that I say it on all my posts as well. I'm so sorry if it really, if it really winds you up. It's just one of those words that I think it's just in my... It's all right. My go-to word is amazing. And then it's like, I'm not, I'm not being sarcastic. I'm, I'm genuinely excited about these things. But... Because I say it that much. <laughs> right, there we go. We've got our lovely parsnips now mixed with two tablespoons of uh, maple syrup. I'm just going to put that to one side while we get the mixer over here. Because I want to cream. I want to cream the icing sugar and the um, butter. I can't think what I was talking about. I've got the uh, my vegan non dairy spread here. I'm using the Vitalite one. So that's going in there. <laughs> Everyone's saying we at well, Debbie Hargreaves specifically says we absolutely love it, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's saying absolutely is fine. That's from Lynn. <laughs> so, I've got 175 grams of um, the de the non dairy spread in there, and I'm also using 150 grams of caramelized orange natural flavored icing sugar. Putting that in there, I'm just going to start it off very slow. We just want to get this to. Yep, let's plug it in. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see my face in? Hey, what? That's such a cool fact, Murray. Parsnips were used in place of bananas and other fruit stuff during World War II as lots of fruit was rationed or just not available. Yes, yeah, so they did. They did a lot of cooking, didn't they, with parsnips? What a fun fact. See, this is what I love you ladies for. You have all these lovely fun facts for us. And, and I think it's really interesting. I think it's great when you come through with all these facts. I mean, we, everyone needs to learn something new every day. I'm just going to turn the mixture up now. So I'm just getting the icing sugar and the vegan non-dairy spread. Just nice and light, as light as I can. I'm going to put that to one side there. Just doesn't take that long so in this bowl here I've got 275 grams I'll just move that a bit like that so I've got 275 grams of self-raising flour and into that I'm going to put one teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of ground cinnamon just get a spoon we're going to mix that all around that and put that to one side. Now because I don't want to cut, move that picture out of the way a moment, just leaving that on. Because I don't want to cut on Carol's board, 
I have in here, I have, um, I've got dried cranberries, pecans and dates. I've got 60 grams of cranberries, I've got 80 grams of, pe of pecan and I've got 100 grams of, um, of pitted dates. That means they've got no stones in, I bought the ones without the stones in. So the cranberries are absolutely fine. I just want to cut the dates up and I usually try and just cut them into about three or four. You want them to be a nice, a nice size like that one. So if you cut each one into four, you get some nice sizes. And very quickly, congratulations on grandbaby number three. Um, Congratulations, a new grandbaby, absolutely perfect. I'm still waiting for one grandbaby. My kids won't get a move on. I mean, these are the sort of things you can have prepped before you even start baking your cake. But I just wanted to show you the, the full thing from start to finish. Except the parsnips, there's no way you could have sat here for half an hour watching the parsnips cook. But they smelt great when I came into the kitchen earlier. Especially cooking with the apple juice, they really are great. And you just want to cook them until they're nice and tender and your knife goes through them like, like, as long, like, like cooked carrots. It's uh, because you want to be able to, to blitz them down or mash them. And I would say it's probably better mashing them if you're going to mash them with um, a metal masher or a... Uh, as the plastic ones are not enough strong enough to go through them. There we go, so that's all my my dates are all chopped up. So with the pecans again, I'm just gonna do those into cut it in half and then just in half. Just some nice nutty flavour in there. And John, you can find the ingredients later. We will be uploading the recipe to the sugar and crumbs recipe page before I go home like I did last week I promised you last week and they were on and I will be doing the same again today this recipe will be on before I go home so check back later today well it is, it is an absolutely fantastic cake to make so I'm just going to that's been mixing long enough now so I'm just going to turn that off and then just carry on quickly just chopping these nuts up Again, this is all kind of prep you could do before you even started baking. But this is the fun of doing the demo for you. And Jane Sandsford said they're nice. Uh, parsnips are nice cooked with orange juice too. Yes. So another flavour. Another flavour if you don't want to cook them in apple juice. Then, and I, could, I mean, I could have cooked them in orange juice as well because I've used caramelised uh, natural flavoured icing sugar, the orange one. Uh, absolutely, and that is, that is beautiful. But you could use the orange zest if you wanted to use orange zest. You can use any of our natural flavours. Whatever is your favourite, you could uh, put into the cake in place of the caster sugar. Nearly done. Are you chopping all the, the pecans or are you saving some for the top? No, I've already. These, these are what I put in here, and I have a few over the other side to put on the top. This is the 100 gram that goes into the recipe and then you just need a, you probably need a handful just for decorating the top because it depends on how many you want to put on the top and how you want to decorate it. As you could tell I just put some cranberries on there and some pecans. So there we go, so they're all nice and chopped now. Put those all into the bowl together so I can tip it easier into the mixer in a moment. There we go, move that out of the way. Can't waste anything either. Well, no, we can't, we can't waste nuts or anything, can we? Absolutely not. Nice and clean. I get my mixer back onto here. So in here was the um, 175 grams of non-dairy spread and 150 grams of caramelised natural flavoured icing sugar. Into this, I'm going to put in the 275 grams of self-raising flour, a teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I'm also going to put in my lovely maple syrup parsnip mix. And they smell gorgeous now because they've been cooking apple juice and then they've got the maple syrup with them. They smell absolutely beautiful. So 
so we'll get those in there. I'm joking about a uh, Brussels sprout cake now. No. <laughs> I'm putting my foot down there. No. Yeah. So I'm just going to start it on a, on a slow speed. <laughs> or Geraldine said, how about a Brussels sprouts cake with icing sugar? I think it may be be too biased. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to give that a quick mix round now. There we go, that's all mixed up. we will just get my little spatula out here. Yep, that's lovely. That's all mixed up nicely in there. I'll tell you what, just... I'm just going to do it for 10 seconds more because I do like to do mixing for 20 seconds. Right, that is definitely mixed. Don't want to overbeat it. Because I'm just going to stir in now the dried fruit rather than using the beater because I didn't want it to cut the fruit up anymore. I'm just going to actually just stir in all the dried fruit and the nuts into this mixture. So I'll move that out of the way. Clean down as we go, you know my motto, I clean as I go. Now into this mixture here is the 100 grams of dates which I've cut up and 80 grams of pecans which I've chopped up and then I've got 60 grams of dried cranberries. So they've all gone into there and that is just giving it a nice old mix now. Hmm, that sounds lovely. Paul said someone let him try a slice of lemon and poppy seed with squash the other day and it was lovely little loaf cake absolutely you i mean it's great when you can you can bake with veg as well because it without being horrible it's it's one way you, you bake your cake and over it's one way of getting veg into the kids as well <laughs> <laughs> they don't know <laughs> i'll eat veggies it's in a cake but anybody else <laughs> i have to admit that worked once i got given a courgette cake by someone and they didn't tell me, and then after, and yeah. then I didn't know how to feel because I was like, well, okay, I really enjoyed it was really that. tasty, <laughs> but it was courgette. How does that work in a cake? <laughs> so as you can see, I've got my heat Cora, which is the uh, Queen of Hearts flower nail. I've just got that in the centre, so I'm just placing some cake mix around it. Yep, definitely a healthy cake, Halima. <laughs> it is, it's got nuts and berries in and, and parsnips. Yeah. So you so can eat the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> Are we trying to spin it for the week? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have spinach in my salad and, you know, that's where it's staying. That's where spinach should stay, in my salad. Right, I've got a nice little palette knife. And I'm just going to gently spread this around so it's all nice and even. As you can see, you can still see the heat corer sticking through the centre. I've greased and lined this 8-inch um, loose bottom sandwich, uh, loose bottom cake tin. I do find it better with a loose bottom. Uh, you can get it out easier. If you were using the seamless ones, then I actually would uh, line the bottom and line the sides as well. But I've used cake release on the sides of this tin here. Got it all nice and even. And this is going to go in the oven. Now I'm going to do it on 150 degrees. And I'm going to put the timer initially for 40 minutes. And I'm going to check it after 40 minutes to see how we're going. Hey Barbara, so today um, it is the vegan country cake made with parsnips, cranberries, dates, yeah, cinnamon, and, cinnamon baking powder. and baking powder. And flour. Um, and flour, obviously. Um, <laughs> And then we are also demonstrating gluten-free cupcakes. However, as mentioned earlier, do not, this is for demonstration purposes only, never ever make a vegan cake and a gluten-free cake together because of cross-contamination. You do not want to make anyone gluten-free ill, so just be aware of that. 
Yeah, I mean, as if this is all this is all being given away. It's uh, we've got no one with allergens, but as this is and it's as uh, Tony said, it's demonstration purposes only. If you're doing it for a customer or you're doing it for family who are who are gluten free, then you really have to make sure that all your utensils are all absolutely clean. A lot of people have a separate cupboard for gluten uh, free utensils, and you have to make sure that every other product for baking has been put away and is sealed in a cupboard so that you have nothing in the area and everything cleaned down really well then you can start with your gluten free. So Barbara you've just joined us this is what I'm making it's the uh, vegan country cake as you can tell it's absolutely another slice is going there it's absolutely delicious. Well, start heading off to you. <laughs> it's got my name on it. <laughs> so it's absolutely delicious. Uh, one slice was taken out yesterday just for, for test purposes. We had to make sure that we were going to serve you a very nice cake, and it was a very nice cake it was indeed. Um, Halima, that was a heat core, not a nail, in the cake tin. It's, a it's, the, it's also known as a flower nail. And the flower nail? It's the, it's the Queen of Hearts flower nail, which you can, you can do for doing your buttercream flowers on. But it also serves as a heat core as well. So you've got two products for the same price there. It's 6 99 and they come in a bit longer. There's a bit longer um, stem on it now. Uh, from what the the original ones were, but it makes it very easy to handle. And the uh, the girls in the buttercream flowers class of carols, they find them invaluable for making the buttercream flowers because then you can put them in the in the freezer for ten minutes to freeze them, and they're so much easier then to place on your cake and decorate. You can go up the sides, and you can do gorgeous uh, decorations like the Queen of Hearts girls do. So that is a, that's it's a good thing. But as a heat core, does it help it cook the cake? cook better well we'll we will find out yeah what it is it's because the center of the cake it sank a little bit yesterday and I'd, I'd done the test of the cake test everything came out perfectly and while it was cooling it just sank it only a, only a little tiny bit in the center but it, it sank enough to me go oh I don't like sinking cakes so I've decided now uh, me and Carol are looking at it and it was moist in the center but not raw but it could have probably done with a little bit more cooking but it was beautiful so we thought, how about putting a heat core in the centre? Because that helps bake the centre of the cake and we'll soon find out when it comes out in about 40 minutes, which reminds me, I must just put the timer on. Otherwise, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> and then I go, what's that smell? <laughs> I'm sure these guys would have reminded us. <laughs> but... Yeah, Louise says that cake looks delicious. It, it really is. I'm just going to tidy up a little bit. Because I do want to... Here we go. I do want to bring over my uh, gluten-free... My gluten-free buns. Cupcakes, look at them. With a gorgeous rose swirl on them. And they've even got the uh, sprinklicious sprinkles on which are gluten free and they're also vegan uh suitable for vegans as well but on the new cupcakes when they come out well i've got i've also got some to decorate now because these are going to be too hot when they come out of the oven i've got these gorgeous happy sprinkles they're new sprinkles from happy sprinkles and they're vegan and how pretty do they look and carol's given me these today so that i can put them on the cakes and i've decorated them so you can see excuse me so you can see how they look they have really good dates on them they're right through till 2021 and it's actually uh, april so there's a really good dates on them and again it's sugar but uh, this is the bunny bunny and scott oh so it's shy princess this is called shy princess a gorgeous pink one baby pinks and it's got little stars and little balls in it and this one's called golden dust and that's got little confetti stars, gold rods and gold balls and then this blue one is Flamingo Fiesta and how pretty is that? It's got pink and white flamingos in and then it's got blue and white balls and silver balls and then all little sugar strands as well they are really pretty so they're going to one side just for the moment that's a fun tip uh, Paul says when I make carrot cakes because of the moisture in the carrots I leave a slight indent in the centre of the mix in the tin and it seems to help him as well. Oh, 
Nice. We'll try that. Absolutely. Definitely. Thank you. I, as I said, I, I love all the hints and tips I get off you guys. I, I store them all up here and think, hmm, I remember that. And I, I think it's great when, as a community, we're, we're a fantastic family on Facebook. And we all help each other. And we all have loads of hints and tips. And that's what I really love, that our community, we're all positive and we all, uh, we all complement each other. And I love it when you see new bakers coming on, showing them and, and how nice you are and we do, we just, everyone is, it, it, everyone's got to start somewhere, and I love it that you give all the encouragement and support to all our newbie bakers, uh, it's, it's brilliant, and I just thank you. Gluten free. I'm just going to put this on here, I'll get the ingredients out for you, four simple ingredients. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just dead simple. Dead simple. <laughs> That's it. Except for this is for the actual uh, gluten free cake. Uh, then I've just made some butter icing up already. And I've, I've, I've made, that's made, ready to just do a decorate onto some cakes to show you. Because uh, I had to make a batch so I could show you what I was making today. So here we go 200 grams of straw SB, four eggs, 200 grams of. Um, Raspberry, uh, no, sorry, velvet vanilla, icing sugar, and 200 grams of Dove Farm, Dove Farm gluten free flour. And that's where I'm going to stop it because I know someone wants to come in and do some announcements. Oh, well, hang on a minute because we've got the whole family here. We've got all the family here. We've got Carol. Oh, we've got. Hello, on, Jazzy. Hi, Ruby. Ruby. And you know what? I think you've come just in time because I have a cake ready. Go on, yeah. Oh. Right, well, I'll see you later. Right, hold on. Oh. So, it's okay. Um, Jazzy, come here. Who do you want to get your McDonald's? Oh, they're in the McDonald's first. So you've got a cake right. for after then. Go on, grab a McDonald's. Let's just go and say hello to everybody, because Grandma's got to do some work. Come on, then. And then you can sit down there with me if you want, and I'll eat your McDonald's. Oh, I didn't sit down loud, did I? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. Let me introduce you. So this is Jazzy. Can you say hello, Jazzy? Hello. And Ruby? Hello. Ruby? That, that's Antonia. Say hello to the screen up there. Hello. Do you want to give them a wave? Can I give everybody a wave? Mm. Hi. <laughs> Hi. And you can eat your McDonald's in here. Yeah. My grandma does the prizes. Come on then. There for you. you go down there with Karen. Everyone loves you guys. Yeah. They're all saying hi. Look how cute. Hey. <laughs> Say hello. And I believe there's a new baby today. Paul, is it Paula Brown who's just had a baby? Yes, it is. Well, no, she hasn't. Uh, well, I've got a grandchild. Grandchild, yes. <laughs> this is Jazzy. This is, um, if you look on my um, private page, You'll see that Jazzy was a zombie this week, weren't you, Jazzy? Yeah. With ice cream. Yeah. And I believe, Ruby, you was a zombie, but you didn't want Daddy to film you, did you? Say hello. Are you going shy? <laughs> <laughs> right, so yeah. listen, she's shy, she's not looking now. Right, go on down there with Karen then. Right, I've got you both a chair each. Go on down there. I'll come down there and join you in a second. You go on this one. Ready? Right, sorry guys, I just thought I'd jump in and tell you what is going on. Um, so I thought I'd do the prize draws. Are you ready for the prize draws, Karen? Yeah, yeah, you're all right. Right, okay then. So I'll do the prize draws because we've already done them this morning and I'm sorry I've not been around this week. Some of you know, Karen, we'll have to be a bit quieter. So, so um, some of you know that I've had some bad news last week, but i um, feeling much better. And um, I will be doing lives next week because Karen is going on holiday. So, um, so I'll be doing lives next week and um, I'll be doing your Monday, your Friday and your Thursday. I've got Tracy Manning on Friday and I'm going to talk to Simon and um, Antonia because I'm going to do a tribute bouquet. So the tribute bouquet, I'm going to do my cupcake bouquet class and it's for my friend. So I'm quite happy to do that live in that class so you can see it's a bonus class if you want to. But basically I'm just going to be making that bouquet up. So I'll speak to them to see who wants to um, do the camera on that day. But I'm going to do that on Tuesday, all right? So if you're in the Cupcake Bouquet class, that's going to happen in there on Tuesday at 10 o'clock. And for those ladies who are in the, cup of, uh, the Buttercream Flowers class, I'll let you have a, an invite in there for the day as well. So what you'll need to do is, in the cup, Cupcake Bouquet Buttercream Flowers class, just say that you would like access to the Cupcake Bouquet class for the day and I'll pop you in for the day. Yeah? Sounds good. And uh, you two can decide who's doing the class for the day. Everyone says hi. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> From Carol, Nikki. Hi. Fantastic. All... 
<laughs> Good. So some things I want to tell you about. Lots of you have been asking about whipping it up. Well, whipping it up is back in production today. Um, it, the reason it's, it sells out fast, believe me, we make um, 200 to 400 bags at a time and it sells out fast and the last time we made it, we actually made double. Um, but because of the, uh, having an allergen in it, we have to have the, the production room completely stripped and it has to be completely stripped and then it has to be, uh, we then can make whipping it up and then the whole room has to be completely stripped again and it has to be all swab tested. So it's very important with the allergens. So that's why we have to pick a time. So that's being blended again and it will be blended right the way through till Tuesday. But I have put the product live on the website. So whipping it up is back in stock, but it does say it won't be dispatched till Tuesday. So even if you pick priority shipping, okay, you'll go to the top of the queue on Tuesday. So which means you'll probably get the dispatches will start going out on Wednesday, if that makes sense. But I've put it in stock simply because I've had so many emails about when is it back, I need to get in. But we've also got some new flavours, okay? So don't ask me how these new flavours came about. It's a long story and a little bit of miscommunication between John and I. So I was talking about new flavours one a month and John thought I meant them all in one month. So <laughs> we've got a whole load of new whipping it up flavours. So uh, have a great time. So the new flavours are bananas and strawberries, which I have to tell you is delicious, okay? And it is actually our llama version, but I didn't want to put llama on whipping it up. So I thought, you know what, try bananas and strawberries. If you've never tried llama, then the banana strawberries is delicious, okay? We've also got cherry bakewell. Uh, lemon and elderflower, white chocolate and raspberry, banana split and toasted marshmallow. Now all those were meant to be one per month but as I say a little bit of miscommunication so we now have a whole load of flavours plus the original six flavours as well. So you can go whipping it up crazy and I intend to be doing lots with whipping it up next week. Believe me you'll be buying it and you'll be wanting to buy it. Now do remember with our product it's a multi-use product it is, it is different from other products, um, and I'll tell you what the difference is. Okay, it's nut-free. It's gluten-free, okay? It's white in colour. We're not colouring our product, not because we can't colour it, because I don't want to colour it. You can colour it what you want. So if you want hot pink, light pink, baby pink, cerise pink, you can colour it with, with what you want. You can use a gel, or you can use powder. If you use powder, pop the powder, and I'll talk you through this next week, pop the powder in when you add the um, actual whipping it up into, into the mix, okay? And it works really well. It makes macarons, it makes fluff, it makes mousse, it makes Swiss meringue buttercream, royal icing, biscuits, pavlovas meringues, it makes loads of things. And if you haven't used it yet, you're missing out because it's absolutely fabulous. What's the benefits of whipping it up? It's a sister product of sugar and crumbs, flavored icing sugars. And what we've actually done is we've added some egg white, uh, egg white powder, Powder. We've added a few other little things, but you don't need to worry about those. Um, but the main thing is we've added egg white to the, to the mix. And that basically means that you can make these products quite easily without having to go and buy eggs from the shop or waste your yolk or worry about your yolk. Okay, so that's a great thing. I've also put a link on the website as well. So many of you have asked about the pink boards. Now the pink boards are stuck in customs at the moment. And when I say they're stuck in customs, they come in massive big slabs like from here to down there. So my supplier now is waiting for them to cut up. So he's just waiting for the slabs to come in and then he'll cut them out up. So he thinks he about, he was hoping they would be here this week. Um, but he now thinks it's going to be the back end of next week. Um, lots of you have asked me for them, so I've put the uh, on the website, and you can actually um, pay twenty-five pound um, holding fee for it. And then what will happen is, but don't add anything else to your basket. All right, so you can just pay twenty-five pound, select, click, and collect. Okay, and then when they come in, I will send you a link for the balance, all right? Now, don't worry if we run out of more. I've actually ordered 16 of these big slabs, and each slab cuts me six, all right? So we've got plenty in, but I've only asked him to chop me up 12 at the moment, and we'll do 12 at a time. Um, so we've got plenty in, girls. Do not worry. I've got them all ready. So that's for your pink board, and then I put a £25 deposit on the medium board and the extra large board. So that's where we are there. Um, what else do I need to tell you? Yeah, Facebook Lives, you're going to be seeing me all over Facebook next week. I was, I was hoping to be off, completely forgetting Karen was off. And um, But anyhow, situation is, so 
I'm sure you'll be glad to have me back. And uh, hopefully I'll be looking a bit better than this. I look pretty rough at the moment, no, don't I? Not. But I've had a very stressful week. <laughs> so uh, trying to smile and not cry. Anyhow, um, I have also done the big list of classes, all right? So classes galore. So I want to tell you about them. Now, I have just made an error and I'm just tidying them up. I've called jo Georgie Godwell's Cotton we uh, Reel class, Cotton Wheel. So if you're looking in that group, I will be editing it shortly. And I've also forgot to put Doreen Griffin's class in for November for Christmas uh, cake toppers. So don't worry, I'm aware of it and I'm working through the list. There's lots of classes. I am really pleased to say that Dawn Butler has joined us on board as well. She's doing a class on the 1st of October. Um, that's going to be an amazing class and it's the carry handbag kit. So she's going to show you how to make the handbag that's actually on the picture. But she's also, and I'll be selling the handbag kits as well. Okay. And I hope you lot are eating that McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're the McDonald's kids, don't they? So, <laughs> so, um, so she's going to show you how to. So, I'll have the kits on the website over the weekend. But she's also going to show you all the other bags that you can make with it, the toolbox and everything else. But the class will be the actual handbag, okay? So the class won't be the toolbox or anything else. I've put all the pictures in, but she'll explain to you how easy they all work and the different types of um, handbag carriers you can get as well, all right? So that class will be the 1st of October. Then I am going to be launching, not next week, the week after, I'm going to introduce a guy to you. Yes, we are going to have a male tutor well, in the Carol kitchen. He's also very nice to look at as well. I was just going to say, I think a lot of you will pay just to watch. <laughs> okay. So I do want you to go over to his in Instagram page. Okay. And he's called Ollie the Choc. Okay also known as the chocolate naked chef and believe me he is fit as a butcher's dog and i am too old to be saying things like that but he is fit if i was younger i'd be chasing him around this kitchen well, let I me tell you now so he yes that will be our first male tutor oh, and he dear. is doing three classes with us I'm telling you now, Antonio will be wanting to do comments. Oh, no, I'll, let, <laughs> I'll, I'll, let I'll let Simon do comments. I'll let Simon do comments. But you, while you do the close-up so shots. Close -ups, make sure so, Ollie is a, a chocolatier. Uh, he's very well known up here in Manchester. He, uh, his father actually owns shops called Simon Dunn. Uh, and they're Simon Dunn chocolate shops. And the, their chocolate is amazing. And um, I have got Ollie to come along. He's going to do some Facebook lives for us. And the first one is on the 3rd of September, Thursday, the 3rd of September, followed by his class, which will be a chocolate shoe class. And he's going to show you how to make it, I think, in white chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate. I'm not sure, but embellishments. He's going to luster them up for you. So he, at the moment, is just sourcing some kits because we think it might be cheaper. You buy them off Amazon, but we'll have some links for you. I've not built those classes. I'll be building them over the weekend so that's my sunday job saturday i've got new products about on sunday i'll be putting all his classes on but do be prepared they are 30 pound a class but do be prepared i'm almost sure you're going to go wild and when he's in this kitchen you're going to go wild so do go over to his instagram page say hello and please make sure that you say carol at sugar and crumbs sent us over to like pop a little message on and how you're looking forward to having seeing him on the 3rd of september I tell you, there'll be a lot of women signing up for that class. It will be fun. And not only that, not only is he handsome, he's actually great fun. He's, he's actually fabulous, isn't he? He's yes. such a good lad. So you're going to love that as well. So I'm really excited about that. Plus all the other tutors, don't get me wrong, all the other tutors are fabulous. So um, as you can see, look at this. Three pages of classes. Okay, so I've just started putting them in the groups and as I say, I've just started editing the groups now with the ones that I've made a mistake on. I've also put Ollie's class on there so that you're aware of the dates. Do remember that they're online classes, so if you can't join us on the day, because I know lots of you are going back to work now, but you can do them at the weekend or you can do them that night or you can do them in stages, but all the classes will be great fun and any of you who joined the online classes, you know that once you pay, you go into your group and then you are a member 
member of that group forever. Which brings me on to another thing. Some of you have paid for your classes and you've not joined your group yet. So your group is the same name as how you bought it on the class. So go into Facebook, search for that group, apply to join, put in your invoice number and get in. Whether you're going to do it on the day or not, it doesn't matter. Because we spoke to a lady the other day. She said, oh, I'm moving out. I'm not, I'm not joining yet. We thought we paid for the class. Just go and join. <laughs> but anyhow, that's how it goes. So make sure you go and join those classes as well. So a couple of new products. Karen's already told you. Vegan sprinkles. Now, we do vegan sprinkles ourselves, which we do our Sprinkalicious range. We're out of stock of quite a lot of them at the moment, mainly because I haven't had time to sit down and sort of think of some new reblends. But we are giving away free sprinkles with every order. And it doesn't matter how much you spend. You get a free packet of sprinkles, which are worth $2.99. And they are suitable for vegans as well so but anyhow the happy sprinkles so look at how pretty these are do you want to go to the overhead simon so i don't know whether you can see them in fact let me take the top off it might be better they're all currently stalking ollie's are you stalking ollie i bet you are <laughs> right let's go there i'll be stalking ollie let me tell you bring back down some down bring down back down some down youth down, 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 bring back some young memories De down, 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 Debbie Hargreaves down, 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 has yeah. even pointed out a picture in a hot tub. Yes. <laughs> Go and have a look at the one outside the, uh, what's the pub called in Coronation Street? Rover's Return. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> have a look at that one. Anyhow, keep to, ve keep to vegan sprinkles at the moment, you lot. Right. <laughs> You can go and have a look at Ollie afterwards. So then, um, so that one there is called um, Shy Princess, yeah. And then this one is Flamingo Fiesta. So I'll just show you these as well. You see that, Simon? Just hold it above the uh, white bowl. Carol. Which white bowl? The one with the um, flowers there. Very much these three white balls. <laughs> yeah. I meant, I meant the bowl with yeah. like um, well, there's two okay. of them. Oh, right. Stop it now. I can only see and one. And then we've got um, Golden Dust. So, as you can see, I'm on grandbaby <coughs> duties today. No, but these sprinkles look, look so much better in person. Like, Don't they? I cannot yeah. emphasize that enough. Yeah, they are lovely. They are really very nice. So, as I say, all the uh, Sprinklicious range of sprinkles are suitable for vegans. They're nut free, the, sprink uh, the Sprinklicious range. Um, they're actually allergen free, the Sprinklicious range. They're actually free of everything. Now, these are only for vegans, okay? Uh, when I say that, it doesn't say nut free. These are suitable for a vegan diet, okay? So, don't get yourself confused about a few things. So I think that's me done, apart from shouting out some prizes. And if you're not luring over Ollie, well, get on. <laughs> yeah, we should have maybe said that. He's hot, hot and hot, isn't he? He did seem like a nice guy. <laughs> have you all looked at him outside the Rover's Return? Oh, 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 oh my God. <laughs> So please send him a message, okay, or put a comment on there and say, Carol's just announced from Sugar and Crumbs that you're going to come and do Facebook Lives and classes and we cannot wait on late. <laughs> okay, that's what we want. going to be flooded with requests Absolutely. Now. Well, it's nice for him to know. And you know what, like his hands, follow him on Instagram. And you know what, when you meet him, you will love him. Honestly, he's just so relaxed and fun and nice and... Um, He's just lovely, you know, so um, I, I think it's great to have a and bloke in the kitchen. his chocolate is fab. Yes, Honestly, it is. Honestly, it yeah. really is. It's yeah. just extra bonus that he yeah. looks that good. Yes, <laughs> and he's going to show you how to make it that nice in classes, okay? So it's good. What do you say? Right, so Amazing. let's do the prizes, okay? So where we're up to for prizes, um, so Karen Griffiths, Red Vegan Cupcakes last Friday, £25 voucher goes to Donna Marie Saker, I know she'll be pleased with that. Oh, so oh, Donna oh. Marie, I don't, has Donna Marie ever won? Not that I don't think she's well ever won. Done, yeah, do, well done, Donna Marie. So that was for the like and share for the vegan cupcakes. Then on the 18th of August, chocolate meringue um, biscuits. And that is a £25 voucher going to Leslie Irvin. So I know Leslie, so there are two ladies. Um, on the 18th of August, for Tracy Mann's chocolate strawberry basket. Now, I don't normally do um, a voucher for Tracy because she normally does it on a Thursday. But she's covering the next three Mondays. Well, last Monday and two more Mondays. So because it's our Monday live, I'm doing a voucher there. And that is Charlene Daly. 
okay 25 pound voucher and then last night was Shelley Nichols now who enjoyed Shelley Nichols last night do you know what I I, I just loved listening to her uh, did you watch it last night her voice is beautiful. Mm. what a beautiful voice and I've met Shelley quite a few times but her, I thought a story about her meeting me was really quite nice and I felt quite touched and um, how she brought that into the conversation but she is a fun person person uh, with a great personality and uh, I wasn't sure how it was going to go last night we had some technical issues Shelley and I I think she told you that already um, and I wasn't sure how it was going to go with one camera and I thought you might be disappointed in not seeing her but I will say the demo was excellent and um, I've never actually been that interested in sugar flowers or even a blueberry sugar flower at uh, sugar berry um, never been that interested but I've got to be honest I was transfixed I was watching it I don't know if you watched it Mary did you watch it yet Lynn no, <laughs> no I freaking don't know what her name is I do have Lynn and Lynn here over here through social distancing she's over there so she's in Manchester and she's allowed in the kitchen so we do have Antonia over there Simon over there Lynn over there who I always seem to call Mary and she's being good as gold and being very very quiet and then we've got Karen and the kids down there <laughs> so Shelley Nichols uh, now I do know this lady but I can't pronounce her surname so it's Marion okay and then her initials uh, then she has a uh, spells her name N-I and then it's U-I-L-C-I-N so it's two words N-I-U-I-L-C-I-N I do know she's joined several classes and when she joins the classes she has a different name so I do, but I do know it's her so four winners for a £25 voucher all you need to do is email info.sugarandcrumbs at icloud.com and uh, for Donna Marie Saker you need to say uh, Red Velvet Cakes 14th of August with Karen Griffiths Leslie Irvin you need to say uh, chocolate meringue biscuits with Karen Griffiths 18th of August Charlene Daly you need to say um, 18th of August strawberry basket with uh, Tracy Mann and Marion you need to say Shelley Nichols um, and that was last night's what was last night's date because I haven't put the date down 20th 20th yeah, I don't even know what date it is anymore so there you go so isn't that exciting all that a um, couple of new things I want to show you as well have you seen these big things here so big cake boxes and I have to laugh at Antonia um, the company where we buy these from I mean the image they've got inside is absolutely shocking the cake is actually nice it's actually a cake with uh, vegetables in a basket of vegetables but for some reason they decided to put it in the box and if you go and have a look at the image it looks pretty bad so I'm going to give these to Simon and he can take some decent pictures but look at these these are tall boxes with windows in and um, I can't remember what size they are, but they are on the website. I think this is 12 inch tall, and I think the other one is 10 inch. I think this is 12 by 12 by 12, and the other one is 10 by 10. But aren't they fabulous in gold? Really, really very nice. And um, these will be great for your cupcake bouquets. These, these will be good up to um, um, maybe a 19 you'll get into there. But we'll see, because I'm going to do that bonus class on Tuesday, so you'll see them. Yeah. Okay, so we've got them in gold. We've also got them in this wood effect, which I think is fabulous as well. Are they looking at Ollie or are they watching us? Uh, a bit of both. <laughs> hey, get back over here. You can stalk Ollie all weekend because once you start stalking him, I tell you, you're going to be ignoring your husbands all weekend. You'll be over there having a good look what he's up to. Oh, Same two size boxes. Don't to feel. You don't, do you feel left out now, Simon, <laughs> do you? <laughs> So that's the nice wood effect, so they're great as well. Um, I've also brought in some chocolate moulds as well. So chocolate moulds, I can't really show you these, but there's loads of little like chocolate mould stuff. We've got unicorns, we've got unicorn horns and eyes, we've got numbers, we've got the chocolate lollipops you can make, um, you've got your alphabet and numbers so if you want to uh, make those and put those around your cake board as well. So lots of things, we've even got the rainbow okay so they're all on the website now and I've got loads of other things to put on the website over the next few weeks as well as move warehouse so uh, <laughs> we haven't moved yet by the way we're doing things slowly the big move actually happens on the 3rd of September Carmel, so that's sorry Carmel says fab boxes how much are they 
I don't know. You'll have to go and have a look at the website. I've got to be honest, I came running in here pretty quick and I'm, it was on my list to go and have a look. But if you go under cake boxes on the website, you'll see them there. So um, there they are. And then um, you're going to wonder what I'm going to make for you on um, Monday. But um, I'm going to decorate a cake on Monday using our Whipping It Up. And um, I just wanted to show you that we do do edible images and uh, we can do any edible images you want providing the picture is a good picture and providing it's not a licensed picture we have a license for so many things but there's some things we won't do because we don't actually have the license for so we can't do uh, football clubs or anything like that unless you get permission from them we can't do pop stars and it's part of the reason why we don't like it in the sugar and crumbs community um, when I first started the group the sugar and crumbs community a lady messaged me and she actually bought off a seller it's a true story this and um, she bought off a seller and the seller didn't dispatch her stuff and she spent eight weeks trying to get the goods and then she came to me for me to intervene and I said well it's nothing to do with me I didn't sell it yet and she said well yes it is because you endorse that person as a seller you've allowed her to advertise and I hadn't allowed her to advertise she hadn't been officially allowed to advertise um, but you know so this woman took it up with me that I was doing the endorsing of that seller so we don't endorse any sellers in our groups and this is why some of you get a bit upset when we mute or block or whatever um, but the only reason is we we used to message you and say please don't add any links but if we're not friends with you a lot of people don't see the message and when I say if we're not friends if we're not your personal friends you won't see the message so what we decided to do then is just mute for three days and as soon as you got in touch with us we would explain the situation and unmute it's not personal we don't hate you we don't dislike you it's just an easier way for us to do it but having said that if you don't share sellers links and stuff like that would be fine wouldn't we the other thing is people do um, advertise other the people who sell ed edible images um, and I can't endorse those if they are selling a Disney product or if they're selling I don't know whatever they are but if they're selling if they are pre prepared to print off an image that uh, they haven't got permission for I don't want to take the flat for it anyhow I'm going to decorate a cake on Monday using whipping it up and I have printed off a new image do you want to have a look so this is going to be our image and this is our new apron design as well. So the sugar, uh, the uh, Sunday girls say that uh, my apron should be ready at the end of the month. They're just wait, they've had the uh, material made or it's being made at the moment, the fabric being made or it's been made and they're making the aprons. I don't know where they are, but I thought I would show you this because I, I'm just going to cover the outside of our cake. So it seems we're all going to be whipping it up next week. I thought it'd be great to cover the outside of the cake. Are you coming down to watch Lynn on Monday? So, yeah. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do that. So I thought I'd show you that. And then it also, it's a good way to talk to you about edible Im imaging. And then if you've got your own pictures that you want to print, we can print them straight onto A4 or we can print them onto cupcake toppers and we can print them onto strips. So we can do circle cupcake toppers, strips and A4 images. And we can do round, seven and a half inch rounds, can't we? They're yeah. loving it. Yeah. Honestly, Michelle so, Ward even says, I need, can I order that on the website? Uh, well, it won't. if you like this one, what you'll need to do is, is um, speak to Laura in the office. Um, because we haven't put this on sale because I didn't think anybody wanted to buy any of you would want to buy it but I, I just thought it would be a bit of fun for me um, to do a cake decorated with that but what it was to show you was is that if you had your company logo so if you are a cake maker and you want to do a cake with your logo on um, and you could send through the design I can't make up the design you have to make it up and then we print exactly what you have sent us so um, and we can print anything providing it's either a free image or it's an image that we have permission to promote what do you print onto, Carol? we're printing onto um, icing sheet so this is icing okay so you can see how flexible it is look so you just peel it off and then you put it on now it comes in uh, cellophane bags you must keep it in the cellophane bags because that's what keeps it soft as soon as you take it out of the bag okay it's flexible for, for how long is it flexible for Karen this a couple of hours is yes. it yes so a couple of hours but if you leave it out it then goes hard so we have to get it on round the cake and for the cake that I'm going to do I haven't, I haven't decided whether I'm going to do a six inch cake or an eight inch cake yet um, but I, I've brought enough for the eight inch cake which I might have a little quick practice with over the weekend if I get a chance yeah so do you like that then 
Yeah? Or are you still gawping at Ollie? No, they are, they are <laughs> with you. <laughs> Come on in, John. You'll be able to help Simon. He's feeling, he's feeling uh, left out because uh, I've told him all about Ollie. Oh, drooling over Ollie. They're all drooling over Ollie. <laughs> well, we, we can go this weekend down to the Rovers and turn and get some pictures of you, Simon. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't know what's involved. We, Simon. <laughs> Should we get Simon outside the Rovers' room to put him up against Ollie? <laughs> yeah, have them hold. Absolutely. Simon we, we, or Ollie. We could be arrested. We could. <laughs> right. Okay, so I've told you everything. Now I'm going to leave you back with Karen and um, Simon, Antonia and Lynn. And I'm going to grab the kids because we've got to run, haven't we? Right, girls. Come on, granddad's waiting. <laughs> so I uh, hope you've enjoyed all that. Right, let me put that away there. Right. I don't know where I'm going to put all that now. Come on then. You're still hungry, I'll put in the back. You're still hungry, you can eat it in the car. Come on, where's your shoes? Right, come on, run to the Daddy yeah, says, get Simon in a hot tub. Ruby, get yours in your bag. Dolly's in the bag. Ah, we're going with Grandpa. We're going to sit. Hi ladies. Phew, I looked at that Rover's return picture. Yeah. I'm too old. I should not be looking at pictures like that. <laughs> I'm too old for that. I've, I've got a probably a daughter that's older than him. Careful, careful Karen, you might have a stroke. Oh. Yeah. Three cupcakes. Let's say bye bye to everybody. Oh, out the way. Come wave at the camera. Can you see? Bye. Bye bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Right, come on, then we're going out. That way. <laughs> see ya. Grandma, <laughs> 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 can you? She's not got her shoes on. They're in Grandma's hands. <laughs> oh, I remember Thank it well. Packing up to take the kids out. Oof. <laughs> Yeah, the granddaughters are adorable, Michelle. They're lovely. Oh, and I've got no grandchildren yet, but I remember that well, don't you? It was like a, it was like, like Mission Impossible, wasn't it? Trying to get the kids ready to get them out. Especially getting trying to get to, where's your shoes? I don't know. Well, where, where do you let them? I don't know. Although I once knew a girl who purposely wore odd shoes. So she'd buy the same shoe in different colours. <laughs> well, <laughs> each to their own. Right, well, after Carol's been doing all the prize draws and telling everything that's going on, these boxes... The 10-inch uh, ones are £2.59 and the 12-inch um, ones are £2.99. I had a quick check on the website for you. And that's in both the wood effect and the gold ones. Gluten-free cupcakes. Let's get back to the job in hand. Yeah, we were baking things, weren't we? <laughs> <laughs> the cake will nearly be ready now. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so I'm mixing the 200, 200 grams of stalk margarine. I always bake with stock. I always bake with uh, with a margarine, and then I use butter. Uh, I use proper butter for butter icing. Just let me make sure. I thought I thought I'd throw a little bit down there then. And then I've got two. Well, this isn't vegan. No, this isn't just vegan. To to everybody this is we... gluten free. It was just I wanted to. I was filling a bit of time up while my gluten free while my vegan cake was baking, and I don't know where I'm up to now. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got 200 grams of stock margarine, 200 grams of velvet vanilla, natural flavoured icing sugar. That's going into bowl. I'm going to mix that around. Little short bursts. I'm going to get that nice and nice and light and fluffy. Create a nice cloud. I'm trying not to. That's why I'm just doing it like little bits. Um, so Carol, you can find the pink board on the website, um, and I will try to find the link for you now. Okay, so I'm going to turn that up now. I've got 200 grams of, and I've got Dog Farm gluten-free self-raising flour, and I've got four eggs. So this is. That's the flour that I use, and it's by Dove's Farm, and it's free from gluten, and it's self-raising white flour. So that's the one that I'm using now, and I get that from most supermarkets stock this. It's in the free from aisle. 
Yeah, they seem to be coming back into stock with that now. Yeah. It was difficult. It was, it was at first. Yeah, but, and I found, I must admit, I found it's, ba I've, I've been baking great with it. Most of the things that I've done when I've done the lives has been with the Duff Farm for the gluten free. So that's just mixing it up nice and, nice and creamy. Ready with my uh, cupcake cases in. I'm just going to just check the oven for my um, country cake at the moment. It's practically ready. Um, so, Carol, the pink board link, um, I'm using Karen's account, um, so you'll see the link under Karen's name. Um, so, yeah, the link is there. Remember, it is pre order only. Um, so collect, uh, click collection and then you will sort out the outstanding balance with Carol and team on Tuesday, hopefully, um, when they're all sorted. Right, that's only got two minutes to go, so I'll get that cake out in a moment when the ginger goes. As you can see now, it's nice and fluffy. I'm going to add the eggs in on a low speed, one at a time. And just let these mix round. If you feel like you're ready to start to curdle your mix, you can just put a couple of spoonfuls of flour into it. There we go, let's put another egg in. Oh, two eggs, oh, two eggs have gone in there. I'm just going to mix these around now, then I'm going to slowly add the, the gluten-free flour. I'll just scrape this down so all the butter is off. Just scrape this down so all the butter is off the bottom and everything can get mixed in together. Here we go. Let's start adding the flour in, spoonful at a time. Yeah. Uh, I thought it's because you didn't have too So these are gorgeous velvet vanilla flavour, and then we, I've got a lovely raspberry ripple natural flavoured icing sugar butter icing made to decorate the ones that I made earlier because I knew that these wouldn't cool in time. Just going to give this a quick blast. There we go, that's that. Give it a quick go around with my spat to get any loose flour, just fold it in quickly. And this is how simple it is. I mean, you can whip it up quick and then watch me bake and bake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me a minute. Does it have baking powder in it, or is baking powder not gluten-free? You can get gluten-free baking powder, but I've, I've just done self-raising flour. When they use self-raising flour, I tend not to put baking powder in, you don't need it. But there is baking powder in the vegan country cake, which is why you have seen that earlier. No, there's not is baking not? powder in the vegan. You don't have to, it's not only baking powder in the vegan one. Yeah, but it is baking powder. In the vegan cake. Oh yeah. Which is why we've seen baking yeah. powder today. Well, here you go. You can. In, when I'm doing the, see, I, I follow the recipe, so I, I'll, I'll go what the recipe says and then just tweak it with our natural flavoured icing sugars and I put a bit more fruit. Well, when I'm doing our normal sponge recipe, uh, we've never put self raising we've never put baking powder with self raising flour in our normal sponge recipe. But you can buy that one. It's uh, free from gluten. It's baking powder, and that's in the free from aisle as well. So you can get your gluten free baking powder to go with your Dove Farm flour if you want to use it. Oh, and Carmel, um, we do you we leave the pink board on the side all the time. Yes. Um, obviously cleaning it before and after uses. So And I treat it with I treat it with treks. If it's looking like it's got a, it might have any scratches, 
uh, or it's got any marks on it, you just have to wash it down with some nice warm soapy water, dry it off, and then smear some Trex on it and just massage the Trex into the board and it just brings it back like brand new. It covers any, any little grooves or anything. You're just treating the board. Debbie Hargreaves sent and received a message back from Ollie. <laughs> Debbie, behave yourself. <laughs> oh, and Michelle asks, where is your t-shirt from? From Motif on Facebook. I went somewhere different for a change. I used to, I do that love baking, but I saw this one on Motif. It's M-O-T, I think it's double E-F-E. I'm just filling these up three quarters full. Just trying to do it quick. For you. I've got six that I can decorate in a moment while these go in the oven. See, that's him. That's him in my brain now. <laughs> I come back to work on September the 1st. <laughs> and then we have a chocolate shoe class on the 28th of September. I'm in for that one as well. Is <laughs> <laughs> that like a chocolate shoe like a shoe on your foot or like shoe pastry? No, chocolate like shoe. A shoe. A shoe on your foot. Like you wear. Like you wear. Okay. <laughs> I'll be his Cinderella that day. See, I just want the chocolate. Like, <laughs> I'm, just put, I'm a fiend for chocolate. I'm just going to put these in the oven. It's 140 degrees that I always bake uh, our sponges on. And it's usually around about 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah, so if you go to the website on the classic page, I would book in quick so you definitely don't miss him. <laughs> Without a doubt. <laughs> I just feel for me, ladies, I'm here doing your comments all day and I have to look at him all day. Oh no, what a shame. <laughs> ladies, nobody panic. I think we've got unlimited spaces, haven't we? Absolutely <laughs> unlimited yes, spaces. True, yes. unlimited. Everyone can join and ogle at him and make chocolate. Uh, so, <laughs> did you mention he was naked? Uh, no, no, he's not naked. Oh. He oh. has... Done. He has done, but he's not. He's actually been fully clothed in our kitchen because I'm too old for that. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, can I show you my country cake? What yes. I came here originally to do. <laughs> there it is. Here we go. So, as you can see, it's rose up. It's all nice. I'm not taking it out of the tin yet. It's far too warm to take it out of the tin yet. You usually leave it to go cool for a good 10 to 15 minutes before you take it out of the tin uh, so that nothing will sink. Um, I've got a lovely, even top there uh, the heat core is in the center and I, as of at the moment i have no dips there is no dips whatsoever Woohoo! so i'm thinking i'm thinking it's worked but by the time i've finished decorating some cupcakes i'll be able to get this out the tin for you then you can see the, the depth of it and uh, but i won't be able to decorate it with the icing sugar today obviously because it's, it's far far too warm Leslie Warman says, this is turning into 50 shades of chocolate. Focus on the vegan baking <laughs> and the gluten-free cupcakes. There is plenty of time later. My Friday night soy out. I'm going on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working today and then tonight it's my own time. I'll be on Instagram tonight, you know, requesting a few following friends. And So what I did before was because I was decorating the cupcakes to show you, because you all know how to make buttercream, you get, I've, I've done 250 gram block of um, butter. I whipped that up for five to six minutes until it was lovely light and fluffy. Then I put in 500 grams of raspberry ripple flavoured icing sugar. And that just got combined uh, until it was a, a nice, all, all nice and combined. And then turn the speed up and beat it on high for 20 seconds. You don't need to go any more than 20 seconds. I've got a 1M nozzle in my piping bag. 
which I'm going to do some lovely swirls for you. Well, there, I thought Carol had hid me sprinkles. So squeeze that down. There we go. Make sure there's no there's no there's air in the bag there. So. Yes. Um, Realise too, the class is not on the website yet. Um, Carol will be updating that as soon as possible. Yeah, so. I think Carol says she's going to build the classes this week, and I think she's yeah. building the classes on Sunday. So from Sunday, uh, from, from either Sunday evening or from first thing Monday, you'll be able to book all of all these classes if you want to go on them. But you will all be notified as well, so yeah. don't worry. There'll be a mail. A mail it. shot will go out to you. You won't miss it. But let's face it. There's no limited. The spaces aren't limited on these courses because they're all done from your own home. And and Ollie's in here, so I'm sure you're all gonna. Love it. I'm gonna love it more. The fact is, I love watching people do chocolate. I, I really enjoy Claire Corbett's class with the uh, the Casey calls because I love watching experts play with chocolate I, th I get so many hints and tips that I can't wait to go home and try it all myself I love it and then the added benefit of eating it well yeah <laughs> as you can see <laughs> I've got six cupcakes here these were the ones from the batch that I made earlier that I've already decorated to show you before because I know that the ones out of the oven weren't going to cool down in time to decorate the fresh ones so I'm just going to decorate these ones for you now and then we're going to put some of those gorgeous new happy sprinkles over them so a rose swirl, you just, again, make sure the base of your 1M is nice and clean. I've got a lovely 1M in there. You start in the centre and you just overlap the first bit and then go round and you come out with a gorgeous rose. Now, some people do this in while they're holding it, but I tend to, I, I, me now at the moment, I'm getting a better, um, a better control over it while I do it on the cake board. Again, always just make sure you clean your nozzle down because you don't want any stray bits getting onto it. And there we have. Let's knock that down gently. There we go. There we've got six gorgeous, gluten free cupcakes so let's get them off my hand let's have a look i'm just going to tip a bit yeah um really sorry guys and um, there is a person chargeable with all commenting and he is definitely spamming we will try and sort that out and um, just ignore him do not do any of that do not <laughs> send him money don't do any of that we will try to get rid of him oh, commenting in a minute we will get we will get rid of him if you can find if you find him you can block him there we go so i've got these the lovely ones here is the flamingo fiesta so i'm just going to sprinkle these over my roses i'll do two on that one and we'll do two oh wow they look lovely so that's the that's the flamingo fiesta the next two cakes let's do shy princess I like just put a few in there so I can grab them a bit easier. So Shy Princess, oh they're pretty. And they've got the silver balls in them as well. I mean, I know I've got some on this, but I don't know if that's boxed in for everyone. No, we'll have to go on to the next. I'm just going to nip yeah. out and do that. Yep. Yeah. And then in this one here, we've got Golden Dust. Again, they're absolutely beautiful. They've got the gold balls, the little tiny golden rods in it, and it's got mi white micro pearls, and it looks like uh, white balls and stars. They're absolutely beautiful. So we'll put those on there. And these are all vegan as well, so they're suitable for vegan, vegetarian, all our diets, so we can all enjoy these. I've got those there, so we'll put those back in there. I had to put lids on, I have, a, I have a habit of knocking things over. And then, <sighs> it's finishing sparkle. Simon's going to get blinged. I can't let any cakes leave this kitchen. I can't let any demo end until I've blinged with 
the golden, the absolutely gorgeous uh, Happy Sprinkles. I've blinged with them. They look lovely, but they still need that extra fa fa -voom. Just to make me buttercream go fa fa -voom. So look at those. Right round here. Because I'm going to get everything that we've baked and put onto here so you can see it. As you can tell I get glitter everywhere. This board is just so glittered now I'm going to have to really make sure it's really treated and washed down nicely. Here we go. I've got some cakes there. I've got the ones I made earlier. Here we go. So we can put those ones them on there as well. Put those in the front. Just see where you can see it. There we go. Uh, see them there. Let's put that out of the way. got the lovely vegan uh, country cake there that's had a nice big piece. So you do a piece, you do a piece when, um, bye bye before, while well, Carol was doing the talking, ate it. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> and I'm just going to try and take this one, it's a bit warm yet, but I wanted to take it out because I just want to show you what it's like. Probably we'll just lift it up and then I probably will put it back onto into the tin because it is still quite warm. I just want to Does that work? Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoosh, yeah, yeah. It's alright, it's a bit hot, it's a bit warm that tin. Here we go. Looks great. So I've left it on the tin that I'm gonna put it back in the tin in a moment so it's gone really cool. So there we go guys, we've got a gorgeous vegan country cake there, which I will then, once this is cooled down later, I'll mix 125 grams of caramelised orange natural flavoured icing sugar with a little bit of water to make a nice thick paste as is on this other cake here. And then I can just put, put the pecans round it and then I can randomly put them in the centre. It's up to you how you decorate the cake. But fresh cram but put, if you put the dried cranberries and the pecans on, it just matches what's in the cake and I think you'll thoroughly enjoy it. So I hope you've all really enjoyed this live and I hope you're all going to go away and try that vegan uh, country cake. It really is delicious with the parsnips. I, I, I'm amazed how, how delicious it is and I will never doubt anybody again when they say, can you make something? But I'm still not making a sprout cake. No. <laughs> <laughs> that. I'm still not doing a cake with sprouts. No, 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 no. Cabbage cake. Cabbage cake. Cabbage cake's got a better ring to it, I think. Cabbage cake. <laughs> so as Carol said, I'm signing off today for a week and a day. Oh, I know. Well, I'm, for I'm, I'm, I know, but I'm actually going. I am actually going. I'm going to Wales, so I'm going to go to Wales for. I'm going to Wales for four or five days, so I'm going to really, really. I mean, I don't. I don't even mind if it's raining. We've got a little cottage. We're going to go in, and it's just a case of just me and the husband getting away. We've got no kids, no dogs. Just really? getting away, just having a nice time and go for some meals. And uh, I don't even mind put, taking my big coat with me and we'll have a, you know, having a walk in the rain. It doesn't bother me one little bit. <laughs> <laughs> just get away. The best yeah. way. Jackie Adams says, have a nice week off. And everyone yeah. says thank you and they love the cake as well. So. Uh, so thank you, Debbie. Can you thank your sister for suggesting the cake? Because it's been amazing and it's really turned out lovely. So thank you, sister, greatly. And I will be back a week on Tuesday with Carol for buttercream flowers. And then I've got Ollie's class on the the Thursday. I think I've got a class on the Wednesday. I think I've, I am just, and I've got a class on the Friday. I think I've got classes every day. So I am really looking forward to doing all the classes with you and doing the comments. So get on that website, look at them classes and they are a bargain. Get booking them. And as Carol said also, whipping it up, it's going to be back. Just don't put a pre-order in to hopefully get it for Monday because it's the pre-order. It's going to be dispatched. I think she said it's been dispatched, was it Tuesday the 25th? So the orders that will be dispatched you know, Tuesday the 25th of the whipping up so get on the website and get buying that as well because that is amazing dead quick sister is called jane sandford 
Thank you, Debbie. So thank you, Jane, if you're watching. Thank she you. Is, here. Thank you, Jane, for the suggestion of that. And please, you make it as well. I want to see it on the Facebook page because it is delicious and it is so easy to make. I think the, the, the worst part was waiting, was cutting the parsnips up and waiting for them to boil and waiting for them to cook and then you've got to wait for them to cool down before you can mash them. Other than that, the cake is so simple and anyone can make it. So thank you, Antonio. I'll give you, I'll give you your correct name, Antonio. Your, um, your full name. Your full name. Is, I'll give you your Sunday name because I'm not going to see you for a bit. <laughs> Simon, thank you. Oh, yes, and please like and share this uh, this demo today in the chance to win for a prize draw, which Carol will be drawing next Friday when she's covering the live next Friday. So please like and share, like and share, like and share in all your groups. I love it when I see how many people share it. It's amazing. And then all my friends get to see it as well because I like and share and they all can't believe that I'm... They said, you're on Facebook a lot. I went, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> So thank you all for joining me and I will see you all, the ones who are in Buster Cream Flowers class, I'll see you a week on Tuesday. Bye. Bye. Bye.